Do you think people understand what it's like to experience homelessness? Uh, no, not at all. I think they think that a lot of uh, homeless people is because of uh, drug habits and stuff like that. Where a lot of a lot of it is because we don't have family, we don't have anywhere to go, we don't have anyone to rely on. Craig, what does the living room mean to you? The living room is a place where we can all get together and sit down and have a bit of a talk. It's where we can catch up with people, friends that we haven't seen for a long time. You hope that you don't see them again, that they move on to a better life. It's good when they do drop back and let you know that it's, it's all happening in a good way. And it's all because of a place like the living room. The new space that we've got here is fantastic. It's going to make a really big difference to our ability to access clients. Um, at the moment, uh, a lot of the clients who use the living room have very limited access to mainstream health services for a variety of reasons and uh, therefore there's very limited opportunity to, for them to get the medical help that they might need. I've been here for about a year uh, working at Youth Projects. In that year we've sort of seen the numbers continue to increase. We've seen an influx of people since December coming through those doors so now it's more important than ever to expand this space and provide uh, what is essentially their living room. So here we're doing a renovation for youth projects. Uh, we're currently giving uh, two kitchen upgrades, uh, upgrades to the bathroom, an extra shower facility, playing all new flooring, uh, new painting in all the consult rooms, new flooring up in the mezzanine area, more storage space, and a new laundry area um, that will help them with their washing and drying facilities. I think uh, the showers and laundry and stuff is going to be such a big help because this is pretty much one of the only places where we can uh, do such things. It's pretty much our, our home. One of the best things about this renovation is the creation of this new life skills centre. We haven't had the opportunity to work in this space before and now we have somewhere where we can work on the nutrition and life skills aspect of people experiencing homelessness. We had a long held ambition to really use this space towards uh, giving people skills in uh, food, in hygiene, in shopping, in how to move ahead and out of homelessness and into housing. Most organisations are not able to offer that kind of innovation. We have the idea, we have the skill, we just didn't have all that we needed. That's what Hickory and the Good Guys delivered to us up here to bring this big vision to life. When the good guys first heard about the amazing work that youth projects were doing in Melbourne, we couldn't help but get involved. It's part of our DNA to give back and strengthen local communities, so we're delighted to be involved in this project. I hope it's going to start encouraging people to start have self-belief in themselves and self-worth, where they can turn around and say, look, you know, there's a course here I can do, I can achieve this. And if they can't, there's always support around them to actually get help through it. So yeah, that's what it's all about. It's about people getting their self-confidence back. Because I think that's one of the biggest issues with homelessness. So we'll see how it goes. It's the way I see I'm waiting to see how it opens. I went and had a look today and I think it's starting to open up into a good space.